Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to replicate any three buckets. I have two cases. One is uh, for new created buckets, and second one is for existing objects. The first one I can do in CDK. The second one I have to uh, go to the console and do it manually, and I have to set up a uh, batch operation or batch job. So now uh, let's jump in the code to do it. So I need a new CDK project and I create two new buckets. One is a source, one is a destination and then I config a replication rule. Okay. And um, the replication rule is the most important. Now let's open the code. Because this stack is not very uh, very complicated, so I uh, try Vim. We have to enable version removal policy. I am new role role for replication tax. Inline policy uh, allow copy data mm. new policy document. This is a list list of statement. Resources action. Ah, this is my lazy pro check box for list privilege okay and we don't need okay just the version and now we need to config the replication configuration and rules so and rule it's a list of proof 
um, but we need to enable it so status destination where where we want our data be replicated where you know where is the destination the bucket so destination bucket I am and that's it uh, but I want to uh, I mean in this case it's just replicate entire entire bucket right if we want uh, just replicate with specific prefix we can add so let me check we can add prefix here right but I am um, now I, I test how I just replicate entire bucket so that's it So let's check. We have a destination bucket. Uh, we have role for replication, and we have a source bucket. And we config version enabled replication replication rule enables destination, and I think. That's it. I think that's it. Now let's synthesize it. Let me think. Any we miss anything? Okay. Uh, deploy it. Hopefully, no errors because we still have to do. Uh, Replication, but for existing objects, which which doing manually. Let me download some images for testing. So I'm preparing some images. I have some images in here. So let me copy some images. Sorry, I need to copy. in here okay so we have some images for testing okay so let's go to the console to check uh, so we as it is a new bucket a new new stack we just deploy let's go to f3 
so we create two new buckets one is a sort bucket one is a destination bucket and uh, let's upload some data here Okay, so I upload some images. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to the uh, destination bucket here. We have to wait, maybe um, it will take from few seconds up to 15 minutes to finish the replicating so during that time we can review our configuration here so we um, enable the version we have a replication rule with a row and this needs permission to move data copy data from sort to destination and it is a, a destination bucket so we still have to wait and um, while waiting I'm gonna go to another bucket for example this bucket so this bucket already have data now I want to replicate but already existing objects so how can I do it I still go to the management and I make a new replication rule and then I just test replicate existing object uh, the source okay filter I want only images destination bucket uh, same account go to the desk bucket so I'm gonna choose so in here I choose create new row so AWS gonna automatically create a new row for me and this row has uh, permissions to do the replication text okay that's it and next save And here, so because we already have existing objects, which will yes, uh, replicate existing object, and now we need to create a a batch operation job. So let me choose um, I don't need report. I think just okay, just report, but that's okay. So where the report are uh, to destination create a new role okay Okay, but this one takes longer time. Now let's check any. Okay, so it is that it just started uh, replicating, and we got only one image. We have about fourteen image, but uh, so far only one. Yeah, so two image. Let me show you um, in the doc. It mentioned about replicate replication time. How long does it take?
yeah so most objects upload uh, upload to s3 in seconds within 15 minutes that is replication time control but the good point is we can with a bad job we can act on million of objects a lot of objects okay so it has been replicating three uh, images and also this folder this folder I config from the batch operation for the batch operation uh, it is very interesting you can config uh, you can create a new job uh, with manifest what what is a manifest manifest is a list of all the uh, objects bucket name and then object key and then you can config uh, for example you want to change the name modify some metadata or you you put all the objects via lambda functions so this is a batch operation I'm gonna I gonna show you the many manifest later. So now we're waiting. Okay, so we got uh, several images. This one takes longer. The image folder is from the batch processing and oh hundred percent. Let me check the job complicated. Okay, let's check it. Yeah, so we got it and uh, okay. Okay, so that's it. And let me show you um, the manifest. We're gonna come back and yeah in here this is a manif manifest I can download it uh, and also I can download this one and let me show you so it look like this and so it's just uh, the name of the bucket and then the the key of the objects and then when you config a batch uh, a, a new batch operation let me go into here you can make a new batch job and you specify oh I have uh, here I specify where it is the manifest so I have the destination inside here I have this manifest okay and then you next and then here you have a lot of options what job you want copy data invoke a lambda function uh, replicate data so that's it and it act on all the all the objects so now we get all the images both the for the batch cases and for the the live replicating so that's it thank you